Good morning, my fellow yogic travelers. I'm mighty glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, live the life we love. Today is a Monday, so it's Poetry Day. I'm going to finish out June with this five uh, different themes to take me through. And then if you go to my website, gabrielhalpern.com, you'll see the different playlists, and you can look at the past ones as well. <clears throat> today, this is another poem from Hafiz, the Persian Shakespeare. It's called Wow. Where does all this poetry come from? From the amorous sighs in the moist dark when making love with form or spirit? Where does this poetry live? In the eye that says, wow, we. In the overpowering felt splendor, every sane mind knows when it realizes our life dance is only for a few magic seconds. And from the heart singing, shouting, I'm so damn alive. Where does all this poetry come from? From the amorous sighs in the moist dark when making love with form or spirit? Where does poetry live? In the eye that says, wow, we. In the overpowering felt splendor, every sane mind knows when it realizes our life dance is only for a few magic seconds. And from the heart singing, shouting, I'm so damn alive. Yeah, I hope you get that wowy feeling yourself. Hmm? You know, compassion is one of the ongoing teachings. I certainly need to have compassion for myself. And I always think about how I feel if a friend of mine or someone I care about was dealing with whatever is hard for them. How I feel toward that person wanting to lighten their load to extend some kind of feeling of comfort, safety to them. So I just try to radiate light out from my heart to them. And then once I realize that, I want to extend that same kind of compassion to myself. It's my life, nobody else's. So I got to slow down and enjoy it. And I've learned to bask or even luxuriate to lift my mood, to settle my fears, to brighten my outlook. First of all, by getting directly into what I call sensate experience, not being in my head, but being in my body, feeling directly what smells good, what tastes delicious, what looks beautiful, what sounds wonderful, what feels good on my skin. I don't care if other people don't like what I'm doing. I'm not worried about other people shutting me down, telling me don't stand out. I don't care if I'm too much for other people. I don't care if I'm uncool in the eyes of other people. They're wet blankets. I'm not going to let them dry me out. I'm not going to dial down my excitement because it makes some people uncomfortable. They keep their passions bottled up. They keep a lid on it. Well, that's their problem, not mine. I'm not going to do that. So I learned that my attention is both a spotlight and a vacuum cleaner. It illuminates whatever it rests upon and it sucks that into my brain and I'm going to sculpt my brain in positive ways. And one of the ways, of course, I continue to do myself, respect my teachers who taught me this and put it out there. Hope that you can advocate this for yourself as well. Which is sitting quietly, learning what mindfulness is, how to watch whatever's happening without being swept away by it. And this voluntary faculty of bringing your own wandering attention over and over back to focus on the present moment is the very root of what you'll find is good judgment, character, and will. Any education which improves this faculty would be an education par excellence. And the main thing it teaches you is patience. If you're impatient, that's going to imply that there's a constant criticism and irritation going on in your life. And then you have resistance to the way things are. But when you see deep insight into the nature of things, they're interconnected, interwoven, it's messy, it's imperfect, it's unpredictable, and usually it's not about you. But when you develop patience, that means learning how to handle delay, difficulty, discomfort, without getting aggravated or thrown off course. Because otherwise, impatience will make you interpret all circumstances as if you're being hindered and mistreated 
I mean, you feel frustrated, let down, or annoyed. Well, with patience, you can let it go and realize, wow, it didn't have that much effect on me. Why did I react to it? Don't you react to it. Let it pass. Anyway, this coming Wednesday is our next Good for good Vibrations class. It's called Hit the Mat. I hope you join us from 11 to 1. Go to my website, gabrielhalpern.com, and sign up. Uh, and look forward to seeing you there. Peace.